Hi, I'm Jillian and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'll be making homemade croutons with a special spice. I'm going to be using a French baguette that I bought three days ago so it's nice and hard and easy to cut. I'll be cutting it into crouton sized bits. You can either do large or small depending on what you like. Mine are in between. So I'm just going to finish cutting the bread and I'll meet you back here. I've finished cutting the bread into crouton sized pieces so my next step is going to be to show you the spices involved in the croutons. So first we're going to add two tablespoons of fresh grated Parmesan cheese and then a tablespoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, one teaspoon each of dried basil and fresh cracked black pepper, one eighth a teaspoon of red ground pepper and then salt to taste and to bind it all together and give it a good flavor we're going to be using five tablespoons of melted butter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix all of my spices together into one so that they're fully incorporated within each other and every crouton will taste the same. So I'm just going to mix them all into one cup And really, if you like, this isn't going to yield a heavily spiced crouton. If you like more spices, go ahead and add more. Alright, so I'm just mixing all of these spices together. And you really don't need that much salt because the Parmesan is naturally salty. So once that's mixed, I'll show you a very easy way to coat the croutons. So I have a large plastic bag here, and I'm going to pour half of the melted butter into that, and then I'm going to save the other half for when all of the croutons are in the bag. So I'm just going to put my croutons into the bag, Now I'm using a whole loaf of French bread, but you could always use a half depending, but I I tend to save my croutons and use them throughout the week because I do eat a lot of salad. So I'll use a whole loaf. And these are good for about a week and a half anyway. So there we go. We have it in the bag. Next I'm just going to pour the rest of the butter mixture in. Try to coat it evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the bag and I'm just going to shake it so that all of the bread gets coated with butter. Alright, that looks good. So now they're a little bit wet and they'll really take to the spices. So I'll just add half the spice now. And just give it another little shake. And then add the rest of the spice. And make sure it's fully closed. And again, give it a good shake. Now, once this is coated, what we're going to do is we're going to put them on a cookie sheet and let these bake. And we'll bake at 350 until the croutons are golden brown. So you want to just evenly spread these croutons out. They shouldn't really be touching because you want really them to have even heat throughout. You want them to all cook the same and boy does that smell really good. Alright so that's good. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven and I'm going to probably only turn them once. So wait till the tops get golden brown and then go ahead and flip the croutons and make sure the bottoms are golden brown. And at that point you can take them out of the oven. The croutons are a nice golden brown color. So we're just going to take them out of the oven. And try one.
really good. Really crunchy, just enough crunch to add to a salad or a nice cup of soup. And the flavor isn't really overwhelming, but it's really tasty with hints of garlic and butter. And that Parmesan just adds a great saltiness to it. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.